Okay, Gus, up here uh, grinding. You know, I gotta give you, you you got the big fan rock in here, defense, but but uh, not not too hot for you. You like it hot, right? Eh, not as much as I used to. Now I'm kind of old and soft, so I get started getting high, I start tweaking, thinking I'm like losing weight again. But <laughs> that's life. All right, I roll up in here and I see you with the packaging tape, and I see you with the labels. You know what? The big rubber stamp, I like that too. But you're up here grinding, you're up here packing. What did you guys just send out? You said I, I missed a, I missed a gigantic uh, crate, didn't yes. I? Well, so we have one big skid heading out to California to our Wrestle Mart. They take care of a lot of our California distribution. And now we got a big crate heading out to the Netherlands. Show me that one. I want to see that crate. And that's like Europe. a special crate, too. It's like wooden. That's yeah. not just like a, that's like, not your, you're not shipping a big cardboard box. It's actually like a, looks like a custom made crate. Yes, yeah, so they got to be like a special treated wood to go um, export. And it's actually kind of funny. We got, let me see if I can find it. We, do, we used to do this thing where they guess what this is for, you win a free kit. We got this big black. What is this? So what? once that, oh my God, I know what that is. I know what that is. So you know why that goes on the crate? I know, yeah. Wow. So it's a, if there's a terrorist inside the crate. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's crazy. So we got hit with, uh, the first time we did this crate, to Europe, we got him with an extra like three hundred dollar fee because they had to put the portage on for us. Are you serious? And they said that's 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 not twenty dollars of that loop there, right? No. But they hit you with a three hundred dollar tariff. They're calling it. Yeah. So oh, I, I love anti terrorist it. Ah, uh, hidden shipping. fees. You gotta love them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, Gus Seiko loves hidden fees when he's running a business, right? Do you have a business degree from UVA? Economics. Econ well, I mean, it's basically one and the same, right? Oh, step down, I'll <laughs> be honest, but yeah. Still pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, like when you read about stuff like that, learn about stuff like that, it's just like m free money they get, right? Exactly. Kind of crazy. But like when you send something like this, how much does that weigh? How much is something like that? Like, what's that like to, to I ship? I haven't finished doing my math yet. I just, that's going to be roughly... Probably about close to a thousand some pounds. That's a thousand pounds? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of liquid in there, right? Mm-hmm. You got Each 36 eight ounce bottles. I mean, there, I, I can count six boxes right now. That's that's quick math. Wow, dude. Wow. Holy smokes. What's in this drum? That one is our peppermint foamer. That's, oh. Our hand soap. That might be coming with me. <laughs> We're gonna love that. Seriously, the peppermint foamer, that's how we got the kid potty trained. There we go. I washed his hands. I'm not kidding. <laughs> we're out of it. We got to. We got to get seriously. We're getting some back. What else you doing? Tell me what else. What the grind has for. Then for we are also. Here. We're working on our Amazon order. So yeah. We're not really showing too much on there. But yeah. Well, yeah. Is that what that is? That spreadsheet. Yeah, I got about 18 skids that's got to go out to California for Amazon. Did you love the work? Keeps me busy. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Wow. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna. We got the samples. We got bars. Oh, why do you got a shrink rack of everything? What, look, you see shrimp shrink rack here. What's so that actually, all that about? Was an Am it's an Amazon rule. It has to be sealed in two sort um, different manners. So the shrink wrapping is just one way. Because it used to be, when we had other people doing it, they put it in like Ziploc baggies, and it really just didn't look professional. Yeah. And then so when we started working with our Amazon guy, and he told us about him shrink wrapping it, we just wanted to match other company standards. Be professional. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'm always interested in new stuff. We're going to look at some new products and some other stuff here.